So I was surprised to see this. So Microsoft announced they're buying a company called ClipChamp. And ClipChamp specializes in lightweight video editing. Okay. Um, and it's all based actually on the simplicity of a web app, which we've kind of talked about this before. I think with Microsoft, with its, you know, when you think of where they've gone with Xbox and streaming and everything along those lines, they could probably back end this to make it work pretty well. I wouldn't say from the looks of it, and I didn't get to test this because I just read this this afternoon. Um, there is a free version of the tool out there. Um, and right on there, it's clipchamp.com. Um, there's a free version. I think you can only export in 480p, mm. um, but it is free. And then it starts as low as $9 a month, which gives you unlimited video exports, 720 It'll actually, they'll actually do cloud media backup, and then they provide unlimited audio stock. You can go all the way up into their business platinum, which gives you 1080p exports. Um, the cloud media backup, unlimited audio stock and video stock, as well as custom branding. So it's almost like you could maybe become your own um, YouTube, uh, depending on what that backup looks like and how you may be able to replay. Um, one of the things that I thought was pretty cool is all the platforms offer, you know, bringing in your own assets, basic editing, webcam recording, screen recording. Um, so you're you're getting a lot of the the basics in there. Um, where I think this is going to go, I think this is going after your iMovie type, and I, I still feel like the Windows platform doesn't have really anything like this. That's, that's just out of the box. And I'm sure, you know, based on the monthly cost, is this just going to be kind of a, hey, you get the $9 a month feature with Office. If you're, if you're the M, if you're subscribing to Office online, um, because they are raising that price next year, this to me, they keep adding more to that platform without a price hike. I know people, some people were upset stockholders definitely weren't with the with the up up in price from for office 365 um home and i can't remember what the other premium i think it is um our family but i don't know they could they could probably easily add this on for free and and keep keep and maybe even gain some additional people the cool thing too that i saw and i haven't played around I, like i said i haven't played around with it um but there's some kind of collaborative Mm -hmm. editing feature. So Sorg, I know you've talked about, hey, I wish I could, you know, provide someone an out of the box, you know, XYZ virtual machine or whatever. Maybe this kind of gets you to that point too, where it's, you don't need the virtual machine. You can just, everyone can co-author almost like editing, simultaneously editing a uh, Google Doc. Yeah. I, I, like I'm looking, it seems like it's, it's more or less geared towards kind of the social media videos. Uh, for the looks of things, and, and if you're on audio, uh, you didn't see that uh, on video. I completely signed up, signed in, signed up to the free version, and I'm now in a project that from a template. Again, it looks like kind of like a square. It's still kind of importing. I'm on kind of a slower uh, fourth gen i5 on this computer, but it loaded. I mean, other than kind of the assets downloading and it's doing this importing thing right now, but it's pretty slick, pretty straightforward. It looks like you have a lot of tools here. Uh, for recording text, as stock images and stock videos look like they're uh, included in this uh, interface. Like, this is nice. This is nice to just be like, hey, just do some quick videos for social media. Here you go. Uh, we're, you, we're doing something similar with that, actually, lately with uh, Adobe Spark um using mm -hmm. using that because that's where we make a lot of our graphics and um we started sharing that over with and collaborating over on just pro wrestling news podcast with them that's worked out really well lately um so like between that and i know canvas become a big thing on the graphic side right like this this seems to fit right into that kind of thing and even and now now i'm looking this is interesting like there is some uh looks like like there's a little dude here that you can chroma key in or something like that Add to the timeline. You have a lot of options here of just like a person in a hard hat and a coat uh, kind of standing there and workers and things like that kind of walking in. So like there's a lot. Th this immediately, this looks like it has a lot to it. I can't say that we're going to edit like a professional project on this, but for like kind of simple 
hey, throw together some, you know, some assets for, for social, like, it feels like it makes a ton of sense for somebody that is doesn't, like, know a premiere or Final Cut or Resolve or anything like that, right? So, My, Miles, a, as a video professional, a little bit of you're seeing of this here, I don't know if you're pulling it up on your side. What do you think of something like this? It's, it's interesting. And I, I like you were just talking about, I've used uh, Adobe uh, Spark, right? That's what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. So Adobe Spark. I've used a couple of those like lightweight editors and they're they're great. I mean, in terms of like how I feel about it as a videographer, I, I don't think that anybody's worried about, you know, these things like, you know, eliminating jobs or something like that. But I, I think it's a cool uh, it's definitely I mean, if it's if it's got a lot of features, it's great. Uh, get it into people's hands and get them creating and and uh, let people sort of, you know, figure out this stuff on their own. Um I actually think it's really interesting. Uh, the the acquisition of it is is particularly interesting to me because I just today and yesterday I've been doing a lot of uh, reading and uh, learning about the new Windows 11 uh, update and and the push that they've been doing with that. And I haven't loved a lot of the features that they're doing with it, but it seems like their big push is you know, user, user friendliness, people on tablets, people on mobile devices, um, people uh, that aren't necessarily super tech savvy. Um, I think it's interesting that they would go after something like this and potentially, you know, use some of these sort of lightweight applications to integrate it, maybe integrate into the into Windows 11 or something like that and provide um, you know, some more sort of entry level or like user friendly uh, jumping off points in their in their new uh, their new operating system and, and other other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just it just kind of adds that usability side, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so it, yeah, it, I, we told you that's a complaint about Windows 11 because they're afraid they're making it too user friendly and the people that like the openness of Windows might have a problem with this next version. So, which is always kind of a battle for something like that. I mean, we're having the same problem on the Mac side where they're gatekeeping a lot of applications, right? Uh, and we're worried it's going to get locked as locked down as the uh, phones and tablets. Sorry, Chilla, you were starting to say? Uh, yeah, the, I feel like they haven't, they haven't paid attention to like the basics in a long time. And I think I also saw, you know, they teased the, the photos app re rework and then they're also bringing a, a decent update to paint mm -hmm. i don't again i to the point made earlier i don't think paint's ever going to replace photoshop well oh, oh by the way by the way a darn good lasso tool that um nice. before before i i got upgraded somebody to spark they were using microsoft paint to do all of their graphics for the podcast for about six months of the show so so i mean they looked pretty good, so but you, I'm sure they were not. In, I'm sure they, he took twice as much time in order to do it um, at that point. But um, but yeah, no, absolutely. And I forget, I keep forgetting that there is a video editor in Windows, isn't there? Because they, didn't they get rid of it for a what? while? And now it's back. I thought they got. I thought they did get rid of. Did they get rid of it? I don't know. There's one on this one, <laughs> so and I've never used it before. But I just I just typed in video editor in. Um, in Windows, and and there it was. So, oh, hold on, let me let me let me check this. Is, is everybody checking their Windows machine? Oh yeah, I just checked. I have it too. I've never opened. This. Like, I wonder if it, it came back. It must have come back in one of the updates or something, right? Huh. So <laughs> they sneak all sorts of stuff in there in these updates. 